Man, you guys are awesome. And it's great to see 398 of you here, hopefully getting tools for your toolbox, getting your cups filled up, getting your batteries charged, making the networks and the connections that you're making. Look around. These are the teammates that you will run this race with for the rest of the time that you wear the cloth of our country. The people that you meet this week will be the ones that as you're set with a problem, you can go, hold on, I know somebody. I have a connection that I can use to get smarter on this, help understand how to fix this, and make the mission happen. So please enjoy this time. Spend this time together. And if there are issues with anything going on this week from a, an AETC standpoint, please see Randy Kwiatkowski, the AU Command Chief. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chiefs. He wanted to get off the stage quick because uh, ET hasn't been able to be here all week. And I know you guys came up with all kinds of new problems that uh, he didn't know anything about. So he'll, uh, he'll, he'll solve those before Friday. All right, it'll be good. Uh, it's great to be here with you guys. Congratulations to every single one of you. Uh, Chief Thompson and I were talking this morning, and we both realized that nine years ago is when we both sewed on Chief. So, so think about that. Nine years from now, where, where are we going to be as an Air Force? It'll be 2031. Some of you will still be around. Uh, well known that China plans to do something in Taiwan before then, right? That's not, un, that's not classified. And the Air Force that we're going to need, let me tell you folks, it's not going to be built by the folks that are in the front row. What we're going to try to do is set the conditions so that when you're leading this Air Force in 2031, you're going to have the right mix of what you need, education, training, people, hopefully hardware, the things that we need to do the job, right? So today you're going to, you're going to hear from uh, some, some amazing uh, Americans that I have a great deal of respect for, my mentors. They're about to become your mentors. You just don't know it yet. And they're going to talk to you about some culture stuff. Uh, if you think that the culture is going to be driven uh, from the MAGCOM level and from the Chief Master on the Air Force's office, I, I think you're going to be disappointed, right? The culture of this Air Force is going to be driven by the Chief Culture Officers of all of our squadrons, which is our Chiefs, and that's you. So I hope you're getting stuff uh, this week that's going to help you do that job really, really well, uh, because the, uh, America, the whole world's counting on you to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm super proud to be here with you guys. And I'm looking forward to spending the next day and a half with you. And uh, it's been a great week. Thanks. Thanks, Chief. Um, Chief Wolf uh, took a little bit of what I was going to talk about when it comes to culture, and that's that culture resides at the unit level. Um, unfortunately, you know, I can't drive culture from Air Combat Command. Um, we have the sword, we have our patch, we have our mission statement, we have our vision. It's aspirational, it happens to be people first, mission always. But culture, when you talk about culture, culture resides at the unit level, you drive culture. So many people think that's an easy thing to do. Anybody? That's hard, isn't it? I mean, culture comes over decades and then you're spending a couple years maybe in a job and you might think to yourself, it's really hard to move the needle on culture. I wanna give you at least a, a Maybe something to think about. Maybe this will help you. I think if you start with climate, you're in a good place. You can set climate fast. And I think you can set a good climate by going, this is who we're not. We do not allow sexual harassment in this unit. We do not allow sexual assault in this unit. This is not who we are. We do not allow racism. We do not allow dirty jokes. We do not allow discrimination. You can set the climate and you can do that fast, you and your boss. So think about climate, because I think from a healthy climate can grow a healthy culture, too, that you can be really, really proud of. And that's your business. It's not my business. Us, us in the front row, that's what you do down at the unit level. I did have a cool video, I think, teed up. and It was an example of a chief a chief master sergeant, one of your brothers, that is moving some culture in the first fighter wing. Um, we had an issue with uh, comm, that's why we started a little bit late today. Hopefully we can get that pulled up. And a little four minute video will show you what one chief can do. 
and they want to drive some culture and climate in the organization. And it'll, it'll explain that to you, and I think it'll move you much better in a few words um, from me. So have a great day. Thanks so much, and, and I'll be here during the breaks and different times of day to support if you have any questions. Thank you.